Welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. So in my previous video, I showed you guys pretty much uh, station one. And now we're walking into station two. So station two tends to be the more, uh, more of the party station. Uh, at night time, there's a lot of loud music, expensive restaurants. Um, this is very famous. You see this everywhere now. Hair braiding, hair extensions, henna tattoos. Um, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. So yeah, uh, station two uh, has a outdoor mall called De Mall. I'll do a separate video on that. It's basically an outdoor mall. It's got a lot of the same stores that you would find in uh, many malls in the Philippines. Here's the thing, if you, you bring your own seafood, they'll cook it for you. Right there. Pretty nice. Demolition site. Look how wonderful that water looks. The sun is shining on it perfectly today. It's not a it's not a great day, but the sun's coming out at the right time for my videos. So there's a lot of these souvenir stands. Hello. You can buy some flip-flops, hats, uh, beach toys. So over here we have one of the high-end resorts called Hainan. Uh, they have uh, they have them all over the Philippines. There's actually four of them on this beach alone. So for dinner, they got a seafood buffet, all you can eat, for 1,099 pesos, which is roughly 20 bucks. Add unlimited drinks for another four bucks. Not bad. Not bad. A resort like this is probably going to run you about $100 a night right now. Another higher end hotel, the district. I'm not 100% sure it is a hotel. I believe it's a restaurant. No, it's a hotel. I see rooms back there. If you want an idea of, you know, what a nice dinner would cost you. So ribeye steak is about 1,765 pesos, which is roughly $35 or so. 30 to $35. Got some pizza. What many restaurants do have, like the seafood buffet back there, I've seen buffets as cheap as 299 pesos for lunch. And it's all you can eat. So that's 299 pesos, that's seven or eight bucks, which is not bad, not bad at all. People try to offer massages. As you can see down here, things are getting a bit busier. Red coconut. So here's uh, the menu. If you want to see what prices are like. I would say most of the tourists down here are foreigners. Um, there are a lot of Filipinos, but um, yeah, I, I think there's a lot more foreigners down here right now. So 
getting some more unlimited. So unlimited barbecue and drinks, 799 pesos. You can uh, get all of this barbecue. Not bad. Alright, so now we're getting into the mall. The mall. So I'll show you around here. Uh, at nighttime, it's music is really bumping. There's a lot going on here at nighttime. So again, this is just an outdoor mall, many restaurants, many souvenir shops. Um, you can get pretty much any kind of food you want. You can get your Filipino food. Oh, that's kind of cool. We got Mexican food over here to the right. We got the grill here. Money exchange. So basically, it doesn't matter which way you go down. There's gonna be souvenir shops. There's gonna be restaurants. There's gonna be all sorts of stuff. So I would recommend you want to do some shopping, come down here. If you want to find some food that's not Filipino, come on down here. Some Chinese food. Main Inasol, very popular in the Philippines. So yeah, I don't really want to go through here, all the way through here on the video. Um, you guys can walk through here yourself on your own and see what there is. I'm just giving you a small peek. So over here to the left, we have the Hobbit restaurant. So uh, a lot of midgets work there. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the food's supposedly good. This Ferris wheel, unfortunately, is out of order. All right, so that's station two and the mall. So that's it for now. So for Asia Unscripted, this is Jason. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time.